December has been a very fun month for new MMOs. I got to play the Core Punk public test, Crystal Vatlan's global beta, Throne and Liberty launched in Korea. There's been some monstrously large MMOs to play, and they've been received to varying degrees. January 2024 looks a little bit different. We're beginning 2024 with a bit of a lackluster start, but that doesn't mean that there isn't anything to play. Quite the contrary. We have several MMOs releasing into a playable state. Games with different combat styles, games with different graphical styles, games with different regions of origin. Hey, my name is Tix and welcome back to another episode of MMOs releasing next month, a video series I do every single month where I take the time to make you aware of everything releasing in the coming 30 days in an effort to make sure that you don't miss out on anything. If you enjoy this series, make sure to like the video, leave a comment letting me know what you're most excited for. Subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification. That way, you don't miss out on anything that I post, and I post a lot. Plus, I enjoy chatting with you guys in the comment section. Now, if you're curious what came out last month or in any month this year, consider checking out any video in this series. Other than that, let's just jump right in. Let's start this off with the fourth incarnation of Critica Online. Critica originally released in 2017 under Enmass Entertainment. This was one of the first MMOs that Mrs. Sticks and I actually played together. It shut down in 2019. It got rebooted in 2019 under All M under the name Critica Reboot, and then shut down in 2022. It got re-rebooted in 2022 as Critica Global under All M, and featured NFTs along with Play to Earn. It has yet to shut down, but Valov confirmed they were re-re-rebooting the game and releasing it under the new name, Critica Zero. A classic experience bringing players back to the game before it was ruined. Although, given players dropped this game pretty fast, there really is no world where this game isn't ruined. Critica wasn't a bad game, it just wasn't a good game. And there are far better alternatives out there if you're looking for a hub MMO with action combat. Dungeon Fighter Online. Soul Worker Online, Vindictus. They're planning on fully releasing soon, with a test phase expected for January 2024. Although, fair warning, this isn't likely to last very long, like the three iterations before it, so I'd advise you not spending any money on it. Flatty, and I, I know what you're thinking, wow, <laughs> that is an interesting name, and yeah, it is. And it's also not an MMO that I ever anticipated covering. It's a 2D social MMORPG, which is something that Admittedly, many indie MMO developers seem to opt for because it's easy, and I use the term easy very loosely here. It's easier. Flatty is developed by a single guy with a pixel art style. The bulk of the game seems to be in creating a casual social experience, allowing players to kind of exist in their own little world, visit other players' worlds, public spaces where you'll see and interact with other players, acquire items to build and expand your own world. I know social MMOs aren't really for everyone, but the game looks pretty cute. And honestly, we need games made through passion like this. They're holding an open playtest beginning tomorrow, Friday, December 29th, with an unconfirmed closure date. If you're looking to try the game out, you can join their Discord or you can visit their Steam page. Before we discuss the remainder of MMOs launching in January 2024, allow me to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon. Your guys' support is why I can continue to make videos like this every single month, and I deeply appreciate you all being there for me. Wonder is Eternal World is an interesting game due to its hybrid hub-based open world. You can see other players running around, enjoying the world, but the world itself is kind of segregated between areas. Players will either group up together with several players, or they will go it alone as they enter dozens of dungeons and compete against one another in competitive minigames. My wife, Mrs. Seeks, did do a dedicated video on Wonders earlier in 2023, and admittedly, while she did have some fun, it felt very repetitious and monotonous. This game is cute, but it also seems to lack substance, which was fine, because that was a test phase after all. Wonders Eternal World is fully launching on January 8th, 2024. However, this unfortunately will not be a global release. Rather, the game will be launching in the Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, and Australia, with a global release definitely coming, hopefully shortly after. But that isn't going to stop any of us that are interested in playing it from playing it. I know a lot of people that are looking forward to Dune Awakening. It's Funcom's latest attempt at a survival game, but on a much more 
massively multiplayer scale. Funcom apparently held a very small playtest in early December, one that I actually wasn't even aware of, stating there were a very limited number of players, with them wanting to keep players limited to consolidate feedback. It seems as though the feedback was positive because Funcom confirmed they were ready to move on to a closed beta test phase in an active effort to keep momentum going. There is no current pre-registration period at present, as Funcom stated that they have already sent out keys to players that qualified via email. The test phase is also very limited and will take place at some point in January or early February 2024. Additional beta tests will be held as we continue to move through the year. So, if you miss out on this one, you will have more opportunities. The Quinfall is one of the few decent looking upcoming Western MMOs on the horizon. The Quinfall features an enormous open world, with the devs themselves claiming that it is the world's largest MMORPG map in existence, bigger than Final Fantasy XIV, bigger than Guild Wars 2, bigger than World of Warcraft, bigger than RuneScape. That is quite the bold statement to make. A large world, though, is kind of meaningless if it's empty and void of life. It looks good graphically, it has action combat, both PvE and PvP elements, Dozens of different professions, providing players a lot of depth and side content. There are nine weapon types present in game, a fully functional crafting system that isn't RNG. It features a dynamic trading system that is governed by players. There are mounts and pets. You can build your own home. There's a narrative to pursue, a character creator to allow you to craft your perfect self. The Quinfall promises a lot, but from what I've seen, it will definitely struggle to deliver, which could still result in a pretty fun game. I just don't think it's going to necessarily be nearly as grandiose as they believe it'll be. The release date, according to Steam, is slated for January 30, 2024. I feel like I'm typically pretty welcome and fair and unbiased when it comes to covering new MMOs, but there are certain things devs or studios do that just rubs me the wrong way. Which is why I'm not really going to cover much of Reign of Guilds as their studio, especially on Reddit where they shamelessly self-promote and then lash out verbally when confronted, reeks of desperation and unprofessionalism. Reign of Guilds is supposedly a classic MMORPG. It has an open world, a player-driven economy, lots of PvP. It has an open test phase right now for interested players, with a release date confirmed for quarter 1 2024. You can play the test by requesting access via Steam. Age of Water is an MMO that I've been watching for a little while now because it has some interesting ideas. It describes itself as being an aquatic adventure MMO set in a flooded post-apocalyptic world. The world is predominantly water, with little islands, natural, man-made, scattered around. You'll navigate an aquatic world that is overrun with pirates, fighting, exploration. You'll engage enemies, including other players. You'll pillage settlements, transport valuable goods, join a faction, and partake in faction missions and warfare. There's a functional story that you can follow, or you know, you could just like YOLO the whole thing and never touch it once, opting to instead sail the seas with a group of friends, raiding other players as they attempt to make a living trading, exploring, building their own settlements, or, or just whatever. This sounds great, and it looks like it plays even better. Age of Water is open wishlisting on Steam currently, with an initial closed beta held back in summer 2022, a second beta held in June 2023, and a full early access launch in the first quarter of 2024. So wishlist the game while you can, because its release is right around the corner. And that is all seven MMOs that I'm aware of that are releasing in some form and are playable in January 2024. There's a lot to be excited for and some that we're really gonna wanna immediately pass on. But hopefully January provides you something to have some fun in. Again, if you're interested, I do urge you to go ahead and check out one of the videos on screen right now for some more MMO goodness.